uh hey <laughs> so recently my family and i we took like this super mini trip to connecticut i say super mini because like connecticut's a tri-state and i live in jersey so it's not like it's not that far it's not really a road trip but anyway we took a trip there and so i decided to just take random clips or whatever just in case i'd use it for a video or something but i'd also happen to have written a poem so i was like i kind of want to share the poem like so although the poem and the clips do not correlate at all i still hope you enjoy both so here it is this is a boy in connecticut I met a boy in the suburbs of Connecticut, in the midst of a venture to the city. It was dumb how we crossed paths, two butterfingered, stumbling idiots dropping their cell phones in a dimly lit cheesecake factory. He on his way out, I rushing toward the restrooms. And while he crouched, grabbing both phones, attempting to redeem himself with chivalry, I watched, stiff from an aching bladder. Pink lips, big. They catch your attention before the brown eyes and long lashes. Oh, the envy in me. Small nose, perfectly centered and no defined bridge, and sapia brown skin, so soft and supple. He was decent at best, but I was a hopeless romantic in dire need of an exciting love story, and he was, well, present. But we parted ways, as non-Hallmark people do, he with his phone, I with mine, and the city that had once escaped my thoughts returned, sharing room with him. I caught a lift, although a taxi would give this story a vintage feel, it's the 21st century for crying out loud, and watched as suburban homes and buildings passed. It was 65 degrees and the windows were down, a heavy breeze with a coy sun peeping through the clouds. He had really only muttered a singular word to me, sorry, and yet I thought to celebrate his effort of speaking to me. Could he be thinking of me too? Probably not. And it was the slight touch of reality and rational thinking that made this less fun. I just wasn't crazy enough to believe that he cared for me. That my bumpy skin and overgrown sideburns, bushy and undefined eyebrows were captivating and filled his mind with wonder. And I'd often been told I didn't prioritize well, never really noticing a tip in the scale when I'd already made up my mind. There are bigger things to worry about, my mother had always said. She died two days after her soulmate, and I suppose that really puts things into perspective. <sighs> Well, off to the city.